What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G-Miles World and what you're looking at right now is what EA did as a retroactive thing for you to get your free Sean Taylor power up. Now, I told you guys I bought him for 126 earlier before they actually fixed the situation to make him available to everybody that had played the Zero Chill solos. Now, originally if you guys follow me on Twitter, you would have seen that I re uh, retweeted uh, one of the uh, Mutt team's uh, director. Um, he's pretty much a guy that you know runs most of Meta Ultimate Team, Jake Stein. He actually said that they their full intention was to have everything out at the same time, all right? But it didn't work out that way. So either way, the next day, they had it out there. So that's pretty good. Everybody was able to get it. I already released the video showing you guys how ridiculous of a card this is because this card they actually got right. Sean Taylor plays like Sean Taylor. I've already tested him out. The dude's a goonie. It's crazy. But we're going to be talking about a few things in this video because many of you guys are asking, should I go with the free Randy Moss? Should I go make Sean Taylor be for free? And some of you guys are like, what are you talking about? What do you mean free? Well, we're talking about the power-up pass. So now that you guys are getting into the Mutt uh, groove, as we like to call it, if you're new to Mutt, you're going to learn a lot probably in this video. My veterans as well is going to try to understand uh, my mindset with what I'm doing right here. So pretty much what I did when I first logged in and realized that Sean Taylor was available, I immediately bought his power up. Because you know like how they release bunches of power ups? Like for instance, when they did the Lamar and it was just... All right, it's available, you gotta pull them. That's what I thought was going on. So I spent the money so you guys didn't have to. And immediately after I did it, as soon as I got information about it, I tweeted it out and I let you guys know immediately because I look, I'm gonna experiment and do wild things, but that doesn't mean that you guys have to do it. The safe way was to be patient. A lot of you guys were patient, I was not. And then after um, you know EA Sports released the information through uh, Twitter, we all know that we should have received it by now. So long story short, I blew 126K that I didn't have to. And I don't care, I'll do it all again if it means that you guys didn't have to spend it. Now, that being said, we're going to go ahead. Everybody should have that opportunity. For those of you guys that have grinded to Mutt level 80, now we're going to get down to the nitty gritty. All right, we're going to get another Nat Zero Chill player. What is this? This is all from the Zero Chill solos, by the way, guys. All right, this guy's garbage. All right, we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and get more kindling. Thank you very much for that. All right, what else we got? We got anything else good going on? What do we got? Come on, give it to me. Give it to me the right way, EA Sports. You know how that goes. A milestone of 270 stars. So what do we get for that? Oh, we got another Nat Zero Chill player. What's this? What do we get for this? All right, so we get a lot of 84s though. Realistically, we could EA usually would just give us the um, you know, like the basic one, but that's pretty cool that they're giving us the higher overall. Oh, another one. Why are we getting all of these? I, I don't, bro. I didn't even read, bro. Did they add new things in? All right, they gave us a lesser one this time. All right, dude's trash, but we're gonna use them anyway. Um, so pretty much, if you guys are wondering what I did, I kinda finished up everything with the zero chill solos, and that's why you see all of these things uh, coming into play right here. But what's going on? So, oh, we got an 85 to 87. That, that's pretty good too. What do we got in this one? That one looked kind of crazy. All right, 87, that's that's the max. We'll take the 380. And you'll notice that it's a lot less than the auctionable versions because they are Nat cards. And you know, pretty much the Nat just means that it's free for those of you guys that are still learning the lingo. Shout out to all of my other viewers that are help. Oh, 80, give me a 91 right here. Give me a 91. Oh, okay, it ain't a 91. All right, 89 is fine. It, you know, we can't complain about it. We, we'll take that. Um, all that stuff for free. What else do we got? We got anything else coming in? All right, so that's all. Everything. So zero chill should be completely done, right? Forty-eight to forty-eight. That's done. What? Why did this? I don't. What? We only got. So we got more stuff coming. So we have another zero chill. Co I don't know where all the other stuff just came from then, because we only got to that amount with the solos. So, okay. I guess that was part of what was coming out. I I don't know why I just got all of that extra stuff, but bro, we're not gonna complain about it, it was all good stuff. So look, let's jump into what we were originally supposed to be talking about. Pretty much right now at this point, some of you guys are talking about, yo, G-Maya, why don't you just sell Sean Taylor right now, bro? Use the 95 overall pass, grab him for free, the way you've been telling us before, because there's a method to the madness. While he's in packs, obviously his price will not reach the peak. We want the most, okay? And that goes into the fact that once he's no longer available in packs and everybody wants Sean Taylor because he is the GOAT, guess what's going to happen? His price is going to rise, all right? And then when his price rises, then we can go ahead and take away the 95 overall power pass from Randy Moss, who we got for free, and then put it on Sean Taylor, all right? So let me go ahead and break that down really quickly with what I'm talking about. We got the last NFL 100 card of Randy Moss for free. So when I click this to downgrade, you see how it said you will receive a 95 overall power pass? That's how we got him for free. So we are going to do that. 
once we, you know, probably we'll get, uh, the, when we get our free NFL 100 player, we'll probably use Randy Moss. If we don't use Randy Moss, we'll gauge it. We'll talk about it. We'll figure out who's the best case scenario, whatever like that. And then we'll go from there. But remember, Sean Taylor's a limited card. So he's going to be at least a million coins because this is what you're getting. You're getting the best safety in the game right now. And pretty much the way that it looks to a lot of people, oh, EA wanted to make all the money. That's why they did that. They did this. They did that. Well, if they really wanted to make all the money, they would have waited a couple days to put the power up out. I'm just saying, for those of you guys that, you know, whenever it's whenever it's like a crazy money grab, I'll let you guys know. Like previous solos, when it was just wild and it was no way to make any coins as a no money spent player, I will let you guys know. In this case, for them to release the power up the next day, it clearly shows that they were trying to get it out and it probably just didn't get out at the time. So whatever it is, it is. I was able to, well, I wasn't, I can't say I was. My wife was able to pull him during her special um, Christmas bundle. So I was fortunate about it. When I take away that limited after uh, December 27th, when he's no longer in packs, his average price will have to be about a million. Because this is, bro, if you go Redskins chem, which I don't think anyone should ever do at any time. Yeah, I'm taking a shot at you Redskins fans. No, I'm just playing Chris Tucker. Listen, he's a 97 speed. He could be a 99 speed on one of your theme teams. Like, if the Redskins had any other player that was good, I would probably say, you know what? I'm going to go Redskins, Ken, but I'm not going to go OD like that right now. I'll stay with the 97 speed. I'm fine with that. But that's what you would be getting right now if you wanted Sean Taylor for free. Now, the 95 overall with the power pass is the only aspect of what you're getting for free. Okay? He costs a lot of training. So you're going to be spending, but you're going to get the actual card for free. So if... if if I were you and you, you know, you guys are asking, which one should you use your 95 overall power pass on? Which one is more valuable right now to get for free? In all honesty, Randy Moss is a wild savage when you leave him, you know, just let him run a streak. For whatever reason, he's been playing insane. Will EA Sports patch him and make him slow? I don't know. You know, like, I don't know what to say. The one thing I do know, though, is that this man, Sean Taylor, with Enforcer and all that other madness, the Lurker, uh, I think I put zoned out on him, right? Yeah. This is insane to run around with this guy with 97 speed. Now, keep in mind, for those of you guys that are Mutt Masters, let me know in the comment. Just write double M. Like, don't write out double M. Just write MM so I can know you're the Mutt Master, right? Pat Tillman is going to be getting an upgrade soon. There is no way possible that they could keep hating on this guy and not giving him an upgrade. Now, he was OP for a very, very long time, so maybe they're trying to see, like, let us make some, other, you know, some more cash off of these other players, whatever. But Pat Tillman will be getting an upgrade soon. When Pat Tillman gets that upgrade, and I want you guys to keep in mind, the only reason that Pat Tillman is still playing currently right now is because they cheat for him in the game. If you have Pat Tillman, you know if Pat Tillman walks past you, you fumble, all right? So it's crazy. Like, the dude just does whatever he wants. With that being said, once he gets his upgrade, he's looking at at least a 97, 98 speed. So you're going to have two of the best safeties in the game. Very, very, like this is still, we're like, what, four months into Madden 20? When people see those two players there and they both have Enforcer, that's going to be the key to you stopping the run game. So as OP as the run game is, you're going to have the right players in place to be able to deal with that situation, which is extremely ideal when you get a guy like myself. Well, right now I'm passing the ball a little bit more with Michael Vick, so I'm not running every snap. But uh, like a couple weeks ago, I wouldn't stop running the ball. Like you couldn't stop me. Like, dog, like, I'm just, I'm coming out. I can put my remote down and I'm just picking all straight run plays and walking away. Now I'm passing a little bit more because I have the opportunity to because people are scared when they see Michael Vick. They expect you to run around and then you just, you know, freak it real quick, throw a hot dot, and it's a wrap. But I just wanted to point this out so that everybody understands. You're going to have two of the fastest hard-hitting safeties in the game if you were able to secure, um, the, you know, your free power-up uh, for Sean Taylor and then use your 95 overall power-up pass to get him to full throttle, all right? You're going to need some training, but training is so cheap right now because the market is completely just done. So you have that opportunity. I want to make sure, again, that you got, like, I'm trying to get it into your heads, right? With certain things that are going on, I'm going to touch on a few things also as far as coin making, um, which I like to give you guys tips throughout the videos. For those of you guys that watch my videos, you know I often give you guys several different tips throughout the video. So with the whole Sean, Sean I'm about to say Sean Taylor, Sean Taylor aspect, 
I would definitely right now get him for free. His 95 overall limited using the power up for, power up for free if you were not able to pull him or if you already bought him over Randy Moss. And I would wait the next day because we're going to get that whole pack where we could pick any of the NFL 100 players and then we'll go from there and we'll see what's happening. But he right now is the best free player to get. That's just my opinion. Now, I want to touch on something else for those of you guys that were saying, you know, Jimai, you got Bo Jackson, you got, um, you know, Michael Vick. Why, why didn't you do the set? Why didn't you do the set like I usually do? You know, I showed you guys several times. You go back to my other videos, back to Madden 18, 19. I've, you know, I always show you guys, complete the sets, get the things back as Nat, and use the cards that you want. Well, ideally for the video, I just wanted to buy Michael Vick to create him, to kind of show you guys what was going on and um, get the video done. Right now, because we have, we actually have Bo Jackson, um, Michael Strahan, we could actually go, we're very, very close to actually, you know, pulling that. Well, you know, getting him out of a card set, like, because we only need like another thousand kindling, which is very, very cheap. You know, if you go and get the stuff in the store, we could actually do that. And we actually pulled Mel Blunt. Um, out of the kindling set as well. So with that being said, we could actually get Michael Vick for free, sell him, sell the Bo Jackson, okay? Um, well, we yeah, actually, yeah, we could just sell the Bo Jackson and everything too. And um, we could actually go back right now and get all the stuff, you know, get the Nats back, sell Michael Vick, make that profit, and then do it all over again with the Nats, you know, quick selling the Nats again that we're not gonna use. Like Michael Strahan and Mel Blunt, we're probably not gonna use them so you could get a decent come up, which is what I'm probably going to do. But again, my holiday has been so crazy that I haven't had time to actually go through it, but I get you guys the critical information, um, you know, because I, I feel that I need you guys to understand that we're all, you know, walking the same path with what we're doing. But yes, some of you guys suggested it. I did, and I always do in other videos of the past, show you that if it's worth it to do it this way, go ahead and do it. So. Let me go ahead and break it down again for you what I'm going to be doing. I may do it in the video, I may not. I have Bo Jackson already. I can put him in the set. I have enough to almost get um, another 10,000 whatever kindling to do the re-roll uh, re to get Michael Strahan or get another card, sell it and buy Michael Strahan, whichever way it works. Complete the set, get Mike Vick, sell Mike Vick for whatever he's going for. Or I can hold Mike Vick and wait till the series is over this whole thing is over in another week and his price goes up and then sell them then. Either way, more than likely I'll sell them right now because I'm probably gonna want some of the cards, okay? I would keep Bo Jackson. Mel passed the blunt, I'm not sure if I actually want him. You know, I would have to figure out because if I keep him, I don't need Deion Sanders or I have to get rid of Denzel Ward, whatever it is. So that would be the case, right? I would have them as Nat and be able to choose which one I wanna do whatever with. But realistically speaking, it wouldn't cost me that much because I only need like a thousand kindling and more than likely, whatever, I'll get the Michael Strahan. And as I said before, I already have Bo Jackson. So those are just some of the other tips that I always want you guys to understand. If I need to get a video out to you guys very, very quickly and I don't like the prices because some of those prices were fluctuating when I did the video. Some were 350 each, some were like, you know, 325, whatever. So we were looking at like 900K and Vic was going for 550. So yeah, I'm gonna get back to three nets, but I didn't wanna spend 900K. Plus I don't think I had it. I had like 100K when I did the other video, then I sold off some stuff and got the Michael Vick. But that's always gonna be an option as long as EA Sports gives you an opportunity to get back the cards as Nat, there's always ways to flip it and keep making more and more currency. So I just want you guys to be aware of that, that yes, you guys are correct. That's the way I usually do it. I just didn't have the time to do it. But I wanted to make sure that for the time being, for those of you guys that are actively playing and grinding out your mutt levels, and you've watched my video on how to achieve mutt level 80, uh, starting at 71 to 80 in about three hours, that you know the value of that 95 overall power pass. And realistically speaking, you're gonna get another free NFL 100 card in another couple of days. So you're gonna be all set either way. So I would use it on Sean Taylor, get that Sean Taylor limited card for free for now. Don't worry about Randy Moss at this, at this current moment because Sean Taylor is the more valuable card. And then once we get our you know, free uh, NFL 100 player, we'll go from there. All right, guys, so that's my vote. Let me know if you agree with me in the comments. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. You enjoy your day. Until next time, one love.